Recording. All right, welcome everybody, everybody, everybody on YouTube, everybody on the We Network forum, forums. This is episode two of the official We Network podcast, and I'm here. I'm here. Uh, uh, this is your this is your boy Mount Bear, and I'm here with Ishami Chia, aka Spotman. <laughs> All right, and uh, we're just gonna talk about a few things, a few rumors, a few announcements, a few just a little bit in the news and we're going to talk talk about a few questions that have been asked, asked us on the forums so he sham you want to take it off all right um i think uh what we should do is first we'll just talk about what we've been getting um, up to this week you know what we've been game playing okay uh yeah so i've been playing um some little big planet and um really really good game uh do so well in terms of sales but for reviews actually got some decent reviews have you played any of it uh uh, oh, oh, oh! You're talking about a uh, little big planet. Yeah, oh. a little big planet. Have I looked at the reviews? Now, have you played any of it at all? Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've, I've just I've just seen gameplay, but mm. <laughs> I should. Yeah, it's one of the be better games on the PS3. I should probably go out, go out and grab it. But no, yeah, I haven't. Mean. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> Oh, I mean, just, there's so many games and so little money. <laughs> I barely have, <laughs> I just barely, barely have any money to get these games. Yeah, same here. You are telling me? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, um, is, is that all? Really fun about it. Yeah. That's all you've been, been playing. I just, um, play I just recently got Left 4 Dead, and right. <laughs> I've been playing that most, most of the time. Phil's here. <laughs> Phil's here. <laughs> Don't take away Lewis's pills. No way, can't do that. <laughs> anyway, anyways, uh, I'm playing Left 4 Dead, and uh, I think it's a pretty good game. Good job for Valve for making the game. It's just that uh, it's the online hasn't been thrilling me that much, cause, probably because of me, because I have a bad connection. I wouldn't call my connection that good. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, bad connection usually does ruin the game. But I've been downloading campaigns, and I've just been having fun with that. <laughs> Hey, whoever got whoever got Left 4 Dead, try the campaign called Mushroom Massacre. <laughs> What's that? It's a uh, it's the whole the whole Mar Super Mario 64 first stage. Oh, <laughs> I think I've I think I've seen that. That looks pretty cool. I, I think I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Peanut Butter Gamer made a video of it once. It was it's, it looked yeah. awesome and it played awesome. It was fun. <laughs> I just like how spooky they made it, but still making it you know Mario like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, 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 I just like going to like the look of the sewers and everything, seeing all the booze flying around and everything like that. It's very cool. All right, enough for the games we're playing now. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Got the serious business. Time to get to some, some, get down to Wii news and gaming news and such and such. Uh, <laughs> anything you would like to say, Sparkman? Um, I think we should start off with you because you said you said you got a uh, a list. Oh yeah, I got of, uh, yeah. topics to talk yeah, about. First, yeah, first thing on the list is the big one. The Wii price drop. The Wii, Wii oh, yeah. has dropped $50. Insert cheering noise here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, yay, we got, a, we got a price drop, finally. For, uh, now that Wii is uh, only 199 here, I don't know if it's going to be that way in the UK. Hopefully it will. Yeah, um, <laughs> we recently had like a price increase this year, which is Bull crap! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. We had to have a price increase, but yeah, we did. Does it, does, but it, I guess like, does the Wii really sell that well in UK? Pretty much, yeah. There's pretty much a Wii in almost every home <laughs> over here. I guess that's the reason why they're increasing it there. Yeah, Wii Fit's really, really popular here. All right, next, and, uh, next thing on my list. Okay, uh, Smart Man, have you heard of uh, you? Pl you played No More Heroes, right? Of course, yeah. And uh, No More Heroes two, two is coming out soon. Damn straight. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. And uh, you know the boss in No More Heroes uh, called uh, Shinobu? Oh, yeah. That that chick that um, I let, didn't kill, which upset me because I want to kill all of them. And guess, yeah. guess what you get to do 
and No More Heroes 2 with Shinobu. You get to play as Shinobu. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be like some, what? Like <laughs> Shinobu TLC going on, you know? How <laughs> <laughs> you come out there? And I was like, but, but this is good. Play. You get to play as Shinobu and, and No More Heroes 2. That's pretty cool. <laughs> really? Is that multiplayer or something, or is that part of the campaign? Uh, I think it's part of the campaign, but uh, I saw some gameplay with Shinobu. You get to you get to play as her. That's pretty awesome. And um, my third one is not that big, but on uh, Red Steel 2, I know you're looking forward to it, aren't you? Definitely, man. Yeah, definitely. Red Steel 1 kind of left me with a bad taste in my mouth, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's a bit rushed, I think. <laughs> Red Steel 2, there's an there's a awesome-looking character called uh, Pain. He looks like a boss. Just Oh, I think I've seen him. Uh, yeah. Just badass all the way. He looks like... What does he look like? All those guys with all the tattoo, tattoos all, their, all over their faces and they're bald. Anyway, <laughs> either way, he looks like one of those bosses that just progresses throughout the campaign and just gets annoying. Uh, right. <laughs> just gets annoying and more annoying. But he looks like a pretty pretty very, very well-developed character for a series like Red, Red Steel. So we're looking cool. forward to see to see Pain and Red Steel 2. Looking forward to Red Steel 2. <laughs> I'm looking forward to finding out when it's coming out because <laughs> when is it coming out? Because I really need to get this game. I don't know. Some probably sometime oh. early 2010, hopefully. Uh, well, it probably will be because you know it's, um, around Christmas time is gonna be packed with games. Yeah, and no money in my pocket. Not a single dime. Nope. <laughs> Just rent them. <laughs> I mean, I I got I got games I want to buy on the PS3 and the and the <laughs> and the Wii and, and PC, and I have no money. <laughs> I just have, I just, I'm Don't just so it. low on money. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next one. Uh, mm -hmm. You're waiting for uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. This one's gonna be uh, what is it? What is it called? Uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Uh, Ultimate Heroes, is it? Yeah, I think it's Ultimate Heroes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think it is. But, uh... Well, yeah, Alex, it's wrong. I don't know what was with the first one that came out. <laughs> that was weird. Because, uh... Because that was like a beta test of the game. If you mm. ever you ever got to play it, it was, I, I got to play it. Cause yeah, I did. I got to play an import, import of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to play it as well. It was, years, very, it was a very great game. A very true, a very true sequel to the uh, to the Capcom versus games. Mm. Very, it takes a lot. It takes skill to play it, of course, just like all of them. <laughs> it's very easy to get to get used to, kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but like to actually master the actual, like you know, the attacks and whatnot, like launching people up in the air, doing air combos and whatnot, and canceling stuff. You know, it takes a lot to get used to and everything like that, but yeah. you know, it's a really good game. <laughs> really good. Really good game. They been I think they're gonna be taking out some characters and adding some characters, but the the characters they're taking out and then are are pretty good. Like they're taking out I, they I think they're taking about like taking out the Mega Man from Mega Man sixty four. Oh no, Mega Man Volna. But guess who they're adding instead of Mega Man? Zero? Zero. Yeah, I mean that's just as good. Which, Mega <laughs> which zero though? Is it gonna be the old one from Mega Man X or the new one from ZX? That's the one uh, with the long yes. hair. They both have long hair. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. I don't play that much Mega Man, but uh, I do know Zero looks ah. pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zero. Is and uh, here's another character that they're adding into in here. You played Dead Rising, haven't you? Yep. They're putting in the most awesome fo uh, photo uh, journalist ever. They're putting in Frank West. That is going to be badass. I've seen the trailer. Uh, <laughs> and one of his I just and one of his specials is actually putting on uh, the Mega Man suit. And I think it's called the True Mega Buster. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> you know how he put it? He puts on the uh, the Surfbot hat and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a good. It's, it's a like great a game. <laughs> This game is gonna kick so much ass. <laughs> and it's gonna have online play. This one's gonna have online play. This one. Oh my goodness, so Capcom! Replay replay value is gonna be through the roof. Capcom, I love you. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> yeah, they came they came through this time. 
Okay, yeah, next one, uh, Dreamcast games on the PS3. I'll let you do this one, Hisham. Alright, this is my reaction to Dreamcast on the PS3. Yes! <laughs> I love you so deep! <laughs> Seriously, oh god. The Dreamcast is such an amazing console. Such an amazing console. I mean, you know what happened. It, it, it only lasted for about two years and 